the most dangerous phrase you can adopt in your vocabulary is if only. It is the breeding ground for excuses. If only I had more money, then I could start this project. If only I had more time, then I could write this book or go to the gym. If only I was in a management position, then people would take me more seriously. The people that make the mistake of making excuses are the same people that think affluence precedes influence, that titles precede roles and responsibilities, and that resources precede vision. Influence, roles, and vision have nothing to do or are in any way correlated to affluence, titles, and resources. In fact, the exact converse is true. Influence comes before affluence. Roles and responsibilities come before titles. And vision comes before resources. And influence, roles, and vision are a function of one word. And that word is leadership. People who amass great amounts of wealth continue to advance in their careers and achieve critical business success all possess one thing in common. They all have strong leadership qualities. In other words, they are very influential, are very clear in the roles they need to play and have clear, detailed, well-articulated vision. Your ability to create wealth, get that career promotion, or achieve the business sales you need to take your enterprise to the next level are directly proportional to your ability to influence people. Shin Tzu summed it up quite well in his book The Art of War when he wrote, Supreme excellence consists of breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. This requires firstly a self-awareness of your own interpersonal skills. Secondly, an empathy to connect with people's deepest desires. And thirdly, the tenacity to find the links between your skills and those desires. The next point in leadership is roles. Leadership is a doing word, and it is important to look for opportunities to assume the responsibility for the position you ultimately want to see yourself in. In his book, A Leader Without a Title, Robin Sharma writes, The farmer has patience and trusts the process. He has faith and deep understanding that through his daily efforts, the harvest will come. And then one day, almost out of nowhere, it does. So if you want to be the next director, start looking for opportunities to do what directors do. If you want to be a market leader, assume the role and responsibility of market leaders. The more you do, the more you become and people are always naturally drawn to those who do more and become more. The third aspect of leadership is vision. Greatness in whatever form, whether it's financial freedom, being a corporate high flyer, or constructing a profitable enterprise, all stems from vision. You have to see it, see it clearly, and communicate it simply to get buy-in from yourself and those around you. We are all given exactly 24 hours every single day. The difference between tremendously successful people and the average people that live in mediocrity is the vision they have for their lives that propels them to use their time differently. The same is true with money. If you give two people each 100 Rand and only one of them has a vision of turning that 100 Rand into 200 Rand in less than a week, who do you think has the likelihood of becoming a multi-millionaire in a few years' time? It's a no-brainer, right? It's the guy with vision. Same 24 hours, same 100 Rand, but completely different outcomes. So you don't need a lot of resources to get started or to get ahead. You just need the vision to inspire you to be more resourceful with what you have already. One of my favorite movies is Shutter Island, directed by Martin Scorsese. And one of my favorite scenes is when U.S. Marshal Teddy Daniels and his new partner Chuck find themselves sheltered during the storm. Chuck then begins to question whether them being there is a setup. The door of the shelter suddenly busts open and the wardens outside call for the marshals. Teddy remarks, how about that? They found us. Of which Chuck replies, it's an island, boss. 
they're always going to find us. It's imperative that you become so single-minded about building your ability to influence people, taking initiative to assume the roles and responsibilities for where you ultimately want to see yourself, and having a clear, well-articulated vision until leadership becomes your island. And I guarantee that wealth, career progression, and business success is always going to find you.